Welcome to the lesson on digestion absorption. Some of my favorite questions for the years have been where those or students are trying to figure out that concept of are we what we eat, and they take very specific characteristics of a food and try and relate it to very specific characteristics in the body. For example, one time I had a student ask if the carbonation, the bubbles in a carbonated sodas, cause cellulite. But for that to be true, then these bubbles would actually have to be absorbed from the GI tract, and either to the lymph or the vascular system, the blood system, transported around the body, and absorbed into intact into the fat cells. That shows some basic lack of understanding of some of the um, processes of the body. So this lesson, we're going to actually look at the physical structure of the GI tract and those basic processes. We're going to look at the stomach. I'll start with the mouth. Then we'll look at the stomach the small intestines and the small, um, then the large intestines. And we'll also take a look at accessory organs of the pancreas and the liver. We'll also take a look at the digestive steps for carbohydrate, protein, and fat specifically. And then the re regulatory mechanism for the GI tract. How can you go from eating a huge Thanksgiving meal one day and then a small salad the next day, and yet the GI tract can secrete out the right mixture of secretions and enzymes to just meet what that food needs? A key concept that you'll need as you go through this lesson is to keep the, the distinction between digestion and absorption. Digestion is taking the foods and breaking it down to the components the body can actually absorb. So the end products of digestion are glucose, amino acids, fatty acids, those things the body can absorb. The end product is not the feces, just kind of the waste products. Uh, and then absorption. Absorption is actually taking those components of foods and actually bringing them into the body. If you think about the, uh, the GI tract as being outside the body, that kind of helps you understand that process. If you ate a penny, it would just go on through and you would get collected in your stool. It never was really inside the body. In fact, the GI tract tissue is much like our skin, so the body kind of sees it as outside itself as well. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering if those um, carbonation causes cellulite, the answer is no. But we do gain body fat if we consume too much sugar and calories from things such as that. So we are what we eat, just not directly.